and Joanna doing a pull workout. She's doing a proper workout and I'm doing deload. This is the first time I've been able to film in. The if you're doing deload, you can do my workout. I'm doing your workout. Yes. So um, this is the first time since the guy said we couldn't film. So guys, I'm back. I've got a sore throat, as you can tell. But I'm going to talk about deloads today and why they're good for training plateaus. So if you like feeling mentally fatigued, physically fatigued, and you just need a break from the gym, have a break from the gym. That's one option for a deload week. Just take like four days off, refresh your mindset, refresh everything, just get your life and then get back into the motivation that you want to train. You want to train all the time. That's the first option. The option I choose is to drop the weight by 50% of your <coughs> of your 10 rep max, like volume, high volume, and just do four sets of 10 I do. Four sets of 10, just get the blood flowing to your muscles and keep you mentally focused on lifting weights and so you don't get lazy if you take, if, if I took four days off I'd probably get lazy, not going to lie, but um, and then there, there is a third option but um, I wouldn't recommend this to everybody because it's a less popular option, but you can do the same weight as your normal workout but for less volume, so say if you were doing like 100kg for 10, you do for like 4 sets of 10, you do 100kg for like 2 sets of 10, or 2 sets of 5 for 100. When should you uh, incorporate a deload? Um, if you're feeling like, like you're getting weaker at your lifts during your workouts, no one wants to get weaker does it? It's kind of the opposite why we train. So. Um, if your lifts are suffering, take a deload. That's one of the three options. And then sore joints. If you're getting sore joints, like you're feeling it in your joints when you're lifting, like you can't lift the weight because your joints are hurting always. Really tired after the training, and tired like three days after. You should take a deload. It's good. People think deloads like, oh, why should you lower the weight and go still go to the gym or take four days off? You're gonna lose all your muscle. No, you're not. It's really good for your body, and you should take. D loads. Also, you should take a D load if you've just competed in like a strongman event, powerlifting, CrossFit event, because you've been lifting so heavy weights leading up to that event that you need to have a rest after that. You deserve it, and it's good for your muscles, so do it. So I'm competing in men's physique, so I'm doing a 50, six, 15 week diet, and I'm on my first week. So after my men's physique, I'm gonna take a break from the diet like four days and uh, slack off the gym a little bit to let my body recover from the excessive dieting and all the stress I've put on my body through a calorific deficit. So if you're competing I'd, at anything and you're doing a training plan for a long period of time, I'd suggest taking a deload week and just easing off your training for a little bit and your diet. Just enjoy yourself for a little time, like one week. It's not going to hurt like five years of training or two years of training sorry about my voice i've got some i've got a really bad uh, throat i could cut it off Gemma. that was the other thing being in a relationship you're gonna get everything they get and feel ill so finally um test these three methods out if you're just a beginner at the gym more advanced people have tested them out see which is best for their body you can cut it a little bit short like don't take a full week off take like three to four days Maybe two if you're really advanced and that's what your body gets good use out of the deload. So I hope this video helped you understanding what a deload is and it's not as bad as everybody thinks it is. It's really good for your body. So less the weight and you'll live better in the gym. So enjoy the raw clips after this and catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that'll work out. How is it to film in the gym again? <laughs> Feels good to get back. Feels good. Get back to it. Sorry if it's windy, guys. You can hit the wind. So, we're gonna have our post workout meal. And then we're gonna go to bed. No, oh. we're gonna watch Neighbours. Yeah, and obviously they know that by now. No problem. No problem, bitch. Yeah. Rude people out there, guys, aren't they? Just don't like saying please and thank you. So, got my all loads of carbs left. I leave them really late, late at night, don't I? Yeah, you do, and then he's like, mm, what can I have? And he just ends up eating all the cereal. So, I've got no cereal actually, <laughs> so I'm fucked. No, I'll end up making you like a mom. Got pasta, rice. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay hydrated.